Welcome to Analytic Yena's video tutorial series on combustion elemental analysis of edible oils and fats. You're watching the second episode, which is giving an overview on sample preparation methods. Make sure to check out the other episodes as well on our Analytic Yena YouTube channel. case of homogenized, high viscosity and high purity materials such as white oil, you have two options. You can either apply a sample pretreatment or select a suitable sample supply strategy. Feeding high viscous materials directly is possible by using a special syringe with a white bore needle. Another more convenient option for sample supply is the utilization of a heated sampler. A temperature decrease of 80 centigrades is decreasing the viscosity remarkably. In homogenized, multiphasic samples require a pretreatment. An easy technique is warming up in water bath with mild shaking. Wiles should be closed to prevent evaporation and hydrolysis effects. The soap prepared sample is ready for further processing, like dilution or direct dosing. Another strategy is to dose viscous materials directly as a solid. They are weighed in directly into quartz sample boats. If they are inhomogenized, this will be done after melting. Sample supply in solids mode requires horizontal operation with a boat inlet system. Dilution is often used in case of too high viscosity or concentration. It can be done either volume-based, but better is to do it mass-based due to its independence to environmental effects such as temperature or pressure. To choose the right solvent is crucial for the entire analysis quality. You should use only high purity PA or PPA solvents. The solvent must bring all components into solution and the blank value should be remarkably lower than the concentration of the analyte. Solvent and sample polarity and boiling point must be equivalent. The latter is crucial when working in the vertical mode. Viscous and inhomogenized samples such as palm oil require specific pretreatment strategies to avoid scattering and to low results. They can be treated in two different ways, either melting and shaking directly before dosing or homogenization by a solubilizer. In case of palm oil, this is simply the solvent saline. This enables easy automated dosing. The dilution ratios should be adopted to the expected content of the element. Low concentrated viscous materials should be diluted in a small ratio, two to three times, just to decrease the viscosity. This makes the dosing by syringe possible without any restriction. In case of high concentrations, higher ratios from 1 to 10 to 1 to 1000 should be applied to reduce the concentration. Sometimes it is necessary to separate sample components which can falsify the final result. A good example is the separate determination of organically bound and inorganically bound chlorine in edible oil production. To achieve this, the sample is mixed with lukewarm water filled in closed vessels and gently shaken either manually by separatory funnel or automatically. After phase separation, the aqueous phase is analyzed for inorganic chlorine and, if necessary, the organic phase is analyzed for the organically bound chlorine content. The prepared samples, blanks and standard solutions are filled in glass vials with septum caps. The septum has a PDFE layer. The ready vials should be processed as soon as possible, but in between the next 24 hours to avoid a sample change or sample loss.